we were working in the trailer here, cleaning it up, trying to get it ready for uh, 4th of July. We think we might go up camping in the wilderness, boondocking. But um, one of the things we were thinking about is this window behind me. Um, the screen on here is regular screen. It's not uh, a no see -em screen. Now, you probably can't see that because it's a screen. <laughs> Let's go over the other window. I bought some some new screen. This is no see -em screen. Let's see if we can get you to see that. This screen is no see -em screen. The screen that's in the window, that's right here, is not no see screen. The bugs come through that pretty easy. The no see do. So we're going to change to the no see screen. Now, I don't see a whole lot of difference in those two screens, to be honest with you. Um, even when I take this little piece of screen and put it up against the window, like that, it doesn't match up but the threads are so much smaller I'm curious if it's really gonna make a difference however um, it's not hard to do to change a screen so I figured I'd change the one across from the door and the technique for doing this is really pretty easy I got a, a clamp just a uh, surgical clamp and I'm gonna I can't see what I'm doing on camera here so I hope this is working but I go in the channel and I pull out the old screen and it comes with a little rubber wire and uh, a little rubber thing that goes in there and this just comes right out and around the screen Anyway, so the screen just pops out, really. That's a little harder. I'm going to take my... My curtains come down by Velcro, so I'm going to take the curtain right out and get in here with the clamp and pull that out. There we go. So now that screen is out. Pretty easy. There, I put this on a whiteboard. You can kind of see... The no see -em screen is a little smaller mesh, but not a whole lot. But we're going to change it anyways. What the heck? It's fun to do screens. These things are what hold the screen in. There's a little channel. Let's see if you can see the channel there in the light. The, the, you push the screen with those little, I call them rubber bands. I don't know what they really are. And, uh, Put them into those little channels, and uh, that just holds the screen in. It's it's not glued or stapled or anything. Of course, this is this is metal, aluminum. This is the channel. This little thing right here. This thing, this channel right here. This this is the channel that I pulled those rubber rubber stuff out of and so all I got to do is get the screen to come past this this is the window where the screens covering and uh, get the window screen in there and then push it in and then the upper one is this upper one these don't connect so I guess you got to use different different pieces of uh, rubber retainer which is why it was done that way originally you can see on the other window maybe a little better. This is uh, the original window. You see those little rubber things in there. They just hold in the screen. This window was not done very well. But. Now to do this project, I kind of went overboard. I bought a roll, a very big roll of screening from... Uh, Lowe's and Lowe's and Home Depot sell the exact same thing and um, this was supposedly marked as the no see -em bug screen it's not marked on the screen package but it is it was marked on the shelf 
and it was the right SKU number and everything. I bought um, some of this rubber screen spline, I guess it's called, and I bought the smallest, the smallest size. There's different sizes, and I think that um, I believe you always buy the smallest size. Um, and then I bought the, t the tool. This tool is a lifesaver. It has um, two wheels, one that's got a groove in it and one that's not got a groove in it. It's flat to push this spline into the groove without cutting the screen. <laughs> the first couple times I did a screen, I cut the screen, I had the screen looking real good and then I realized it was cut all the way around the screen. So <laughs> be careful there. But so what we do to do this is we remove the old screen and we just are going to lay it on the new screen and um, we're not going to make it the exact size we're going to make it about an inch or two inches wider so you see I've got some extra here on the edge this is the this is the old screen this is the new screen I've got my table's not quite big enough I've got some on the edge here and I've got some I'll put on the edge here. Then I'll just take my scissors and cut the screen to that size. You know what you're doing you probably don't need to make it quite this big but I don't think it hurts I got plenty of screen but so there's my new piece of screen all cut out and now we gotta take that and try to get it into the trailer and I'm gonna try to use the old spline material so now my old spline material is here the stuff I pulled out and as you can see it's three different sizes here's a short one a medium one and then a really long one and obviously you want to know where these go um, the short one this one I'm going to believe goes right here on the up and down okay and the long one goes on the top up here and the really long one goes from here all the way around the curve so that's how we'll do it and we're going to put the top one in first because that just seems like the smart thing to do so let's see if we can do that so I'm going to tape on the outer edges of these so that I know where they go just to hold them in place and make sure that it's not crooked <laughs> because that's something I've done in the past you start at one corner and you hold the thing up there and then when you get down to like here you don't have enough to get in the spline so then you start yanking on the on the thing and then you're all screwed up so I've taped that at the corners if you can see that I'm gonna tape there tape over there on the outside of the corners so this the screen hangs over and that keeps it in place now if you have a helper you can work on climbing over each other <laughs> but I'm not sure that's really ever a help that, in my opinion, is probably more um, more a way to disaster than anything else. And now I'm going to start putting the spline up in this far corner where actually I have tape over it just a little bit. And I cheat a little with a little extra light. Yeah.
and I want to make sure it's all the way in. And that looks good. Now, like rolling out cookie dough, your spline grows when you do this. So now I've got a lot of, I've got extra spline down here that I'll have to cut, which is all right. I don't mind that at all. But now I've got, I've got that all set. Now I can do the other one, the other edge. I'm holding the light in my mouth. things these things come in various qualities this is a really cheap one it was about five bucks um, and the wheel is bending and getting warped already so buy a good one now for the tricky part you want to make sure that this is fairly tight if you pull it too tight you get wrinkles in it you don't want to put wrinkles in it but I'm going to change the tape. Put a little tension on this. Of course, this uh, the screen comes in rolls, so it's rolled and not very. Wonderful. God, it's getting hot in here. Um, I need my glasses. I can't see this. Just to show you something. I don't have much screen left over on this side, even though I had two inches extra. And that's why you get that two inches all around. And this side is about the same. There's a, you know. I'm curious if I put a hair dryer to it, if it was, would, uh, let's open this window now. Window doesn't like to open. So that's a new screen. Oh, geez, that's nice and tight. Look at that. So I'm pleased. How do you like that? Now, to trim this, if you're confident in your use of a razor knife, you can do this and just go up. Especially the top one has a little um, ridge you can ride along and just cut it. And the other one's about the same. You want to trim your, your spline and take that out.
for somebody who's not quite as confident with the razor knife or doesn't want to do it over again, I might suggest using a razor blade, a one edge razor blade. You get a little more control over it. And um, so you won't have, uh, like if I drop this on the window, it's probably going to go right through. this down here where it's uh, I got extra spline on both of them actually there so I turn that out I'll just cut off this extra spline right here going into the groove I go right into the groove where the spline goes Sure, the spline's in there good. There. That's wonderful. Wonderbar. Is it, let's see, is it good all around? Looks good all around. That one's a little long still. We'll push that back in. Fantastic. I'll do the other window the same way. Pop out the little thing with the tweezers. Pull this out. I'm probably stretching it when I'm pulling on it because I'm pulling on it a little hard. Rather than rip the old screen, I'll pop this one out. Save these. Some people will tell you not to save them because they're they're going to be stretched and worn and better have you go. Oh, Better have new ones, but you know what? They don't do anything but sit there, so I don't think it matters if they turn to dust over 30 years. All right, so I've got that. I'll go in and measure that with the uh, on the new stuff. some more on it, tighten it up a little bit in various directions. Because you do want it fairly tight. You don't want it sloppy. You don't want it hanging there. And this this is not any way to put tape. This is just wrong. You want to put it on the on the screen and then pull it a little bit and then put it down. That's nice and tight now. If I was smart, I would probably go down and work it from the corner outward, like this.
that's a nice tight screen. Okay, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for other great things. We'll see you on the road. Come camping. It's time to go. Bye.